Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for Saturday the 29th of February going into Sunday the 1st of March 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend's reading, I am using the Druidcraft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Cargon. Okay, well, I do have the beautiful Dakota with me, so if you do hear any strange noises in the background, then uh, that's the culprit. Okay, well, let's see what wonderful message Spirit does have for us for the weekend. Okay, here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Saturday, the 29th of February, going into Sunday? the 1st of March 2020. Thank you. Okay. What do my friends need to know? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Your cards are the six of cups followed by major arcana number 14 the ferulet and followed by the seven of swords your first card is the six of cups six that wonderful number of balance harmony of unity i'm really drawn to um, the green uh, the green cape and the wonderful green grass um, green also representing a uh, balance and harmony it's also the heart chakra the six of cups represents um, a card of memories um, sometimes this can be um, thinking um, back, uh, going over um, old memories. Um, sometimes this can be um, families and siblings and um, some, some uh, remembering things one way and others remembering things another. With this illustration, I'm really drawn that the person here is watching these two children. Um, so I'm feeling observing um, and so I'm, I really feel that this is you uh, being an observer um, and you are now observing um, and I'm really feeling this is new memories. Um, during the week we, we were softly closing the door on, on past events, on, on painful um, events. Um, here I really feel that you are now the observer and the observer of new events um, and I'm feeling that these new events, new memories that you are making, um, they are fulfilling because I'm drawn to the uh, the cups, the six cups, um, they are full cups so I am feeling the energy uh, of the fulfilment, um, cups water energy so this is emotion so these new memories that you are observing of, and I'm, uh, the point of the observing is um, I'm hearing it's that you are consciously aware whew, more consciously aware of yourself um, and what you are creating uh, for yourself in the universe in your life in in the material, the, the everyday world that you see around you. Um, you are being more observant, I am hearing, and more conscious to be making happy memories. Ooh, 
wow <laughs> okay and next we have major arcana number 14 the ferulet this is oh it's temperance and so here with the ferulet um you are being asked to um this is balancing your heart out um this is i feel um the connection uh, that you are making uh, between what you are thinking and how you are feeling about what you are thinking. This is you being more... Mm, I really feel being more in your right mind, I, I, I want to say. Um, you are being more compromising um, I am hearing but more willing to make compromises um, more willing to be more cooperative um, things in moderation I am hearing um, this is a real spiritual transformation that you are going through um, and I'm feeling that the ferulet here um, as I again I'm really drawn to the window um, and what we are observing through this window if I hold it closer um, we see a beautiful um, the uh, Glastonbury uh, tour um, and St Michael's Tower on the top it is bathed in this gorgeous rainbow um hope and positivity is restored my friends this is where the balance and harmony um is now coming from uh you being more aware more consciously aware more observant um of what you of what you are thinking so more aware of your thoughts and also more aware of what you are speaking into the world because i'm really looking at the ferulet here and she is dressed in this wonderful blue which for me is representing your um, throat chakra uh, blue it's a color of trust it's loyalty it's confidence it's intelligence Back to intelligence again this is you <laughs> using your intelligence um, also blue it's calm it's peace it's tranquility um, it's water um, so I'm really feeling this harmonized um, really balanced now um, being more mindful um, caring more about how you think and feel wow <laughs> okay next we have the seven of swords seven the wonderful number of spirituality the number of magic um diligence and research um sword energy um again this is um thoughts ideas and communication so um it's really important um this weekend to be mindful uh, aware more conscious more observant of of your thoughts and um, what you are speaking out into the universe i am hearing the seven of swords represents um research this is you here um and i'm seeing that you are consciously uh, putting the effort in um here I do feel that you are being more mindful of your thoughts, ideas, impulses and how and what you are communicating out into the universe. Here I really see you being more thoughtful. I am hearing and again uh, we are having these glimpses here through these windows um, and I feel that these windows are, are kind of like the windows of opportunity uh, that you are uh, creating wonderful new opportunities for yourselves and it is coming um, from you being more balanced more harmonized um, there is a real un union between you and the divine i'm really feeling this connection um and so this weekend you are being guided to be 
more observant, more mindful, more aware of your thoughts, um, how you are thinking, what you are thinking and how you are communicating uh, those thoughts into the physical. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> what a weekend, my friends. Wow. OK. And of course, the feral um, 14, 1 and 4, um, adding up to the wonderful number 5, um, conflict, crisis, chaos, but also transformation and change. Um, and you are transforming yourselves, my friends, um, and you are being more conscious um, of this transformation. I am hearing. Wow. OK, next we will have. Uh, Sacred Destiny by Denise Lynn. And of course, Glastonbury Tall, um, the, the um, earth has uh, chakras um, uh, around the earth. Um, like Ayers Rock is a chakra and Mount Shasta is a, another one. I can't remember off the top of my head which ones they are, but I do know that Glastonbury Tall is the heart chakra. Um, so <laughs> home is where the heart is, I am hearing. Um, this is the a real connection that you are making now, my friends, between uh, your heart energy, uh, and, and how you are thinking and feeling. Um, this is uh, you being congruent this weekend, my friends. Wow. Okay. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. Okay, let me just lower your camera. And your Sacred Destiny Oracle card is uh, Diligence. Um, I'm not sure with the birds, but I do think that this is an albatross. But I really love this image because um, it's like you get to be having this wonderful bird's eye view. Uh, again, this is the I'm really drawn to all of these windows, observing, uh, being more observant, um, having a... Um, this is perspective um, and this wonderful aerial perspective that you have um, helping you see your path uh, more clearly. Uh, and the seven of swords, seven, it is the number of diligence. So um, putting in the work, putting in the effort, putting in the research. Um, OK, let's see. Fallow field. Traditionally, fields were left fallow, unfarmed, for extended periods of time to allow the soil to recover and rebalance its nutrients, to break disease and pest cycles, and to provide a haven for wildlife. Letting fields lie fallow meant that the subsequent crops were much healthier and more vibrant. Engaging in this time-honoured process takes patience and diligence, but the results are worth the wait. The sacred landscape wants you to know. There are times in life to step forward and take risks, but there are other times to be patient. Step carefully and slowly and know that the benefits you will gain in the future will be worth it. Wow. Be attentive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Meticulous and persistent. Use this time to plan for action steps in the future. Be diligent and consistent at each step as you move forward. By doing so, you will harvest remarkable results in the years ahead. This is not the time for instant gratification. Your diligence will pay off in the future tenfold. This is the time for deliberate organisation. Clean house. Clear clutter out of your life. Be thoughtful about how you spend your time. And be discerning when choosing with whom you spend it 
Ooh. <laughs> and clear out relationships that do not support you. Oh, being attentive, my friends. <laughs> wow. Okay. Next, we will have Wisdom of Avalon by Colette Baron Reed. you there we go <laughs> okay so your wisdom of avalon oracle is oh fear number 48 wow and of course four and eight adding up to 12 which is one and two three so being reminded to stay in authenticity, to stay in mind, body, spirit uh, energy, to um, keep reminding yourselves uh, as you think it, um, so you speak it and therefore you will be it. OK, this marker asks you to identify how fear may be affecting you on this part of your journey. Are you afraid of failure? Perhaps you're worried about success and the changes it brings, as it pushes you to be all that you can be. Are you afraid of losing something that you don't yet have? Is your fear valid? Have you seen actual evidence of adversity and trouble, or are you seeing false evidence, which gives the appearance of being real? Fear is a crippling companion and indicates a loss of faith and connection to the divine. Remember that the God, Goddess, doesn't give you anything that you can't handle. Fear comes from the part of you that identifies with separation, division and form. To release yourself from it, remember that you are first and foremost an infinite soul. Look through those eyes and the fear will subside as you remember to trust the way of the mystery. Don't struggle with fear. Look inside. See the part of you that is afraid and send love, light and compassion inward. This would be a very good time to write an inventory of your fears and their possible solutions. Once on paper, you may find that you've been afraid of fear itself. This is an auspicious omen of transformation. <laughs> Coming underneath this uh, number 14, which we added to five, uh, the number of transformation. So making great changes, my friends, really um, transforming yourselves. I am hearing... Wow. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now. The kind red spirit. Thank you, Ruby. Okay. She already had a card in mind. And your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Wow! So polarity, um, this is a message. We, we've started with number six, the number of uh, balance and harmony. Uh, this is you... Um, Bringing both sides of yourselves uh, together, uh, your positive, negative, light, dark, um, masculine, feminine, um, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without the dark and under understand the law of polarity. Um, so this is a message this weekend of being observant. Um, of your thoughts, um, how you are speaking, 
um, and how you are feeling. Um, are they all matching? Are you being congruent? Um, is everything that you are, the spirit in which you are acting, is it one of wholeheartedness I am hearing? Um, so being reminded to keep yourself balanced and harmonised. Um, wow, okay. We have all played in the shadows and dabbled in darkness throughout different lifetimes. There is no judgment from the divine on what you did or didn't do in this or any other incarnation. Source sees you as wholly lovable and worthy, even if you were a part of destruction or deception in other times. Only we hold ourselves in judgment and punish ourselves because we feel we are anything less than pure light. These unicorns show you that there cannot be light without the dark. There cannot be day without the night, just as you could not have the capacity to hold the level of light that you do now if you had not plunged deep into the darkness before. You would not appreciate the good things that you have now if you had not experienced their opposite. This polarity serves you beautifully. And rather than trying to disown your shadow side, be proud of it. Own it. Integrate it. When you do this, it can no longer hold power over you and you can start to love and accept every part of yourself. Wow. Doing this brings you true freedom, freedom from the penance that you believe that you have to pay for being less than pure. Freedom from the lie of the original sin that has shackled humanity for centuries and freedom from unworthiness and from feeling less than others. You are perfect just as you are with your light and your dark Oh, wow. I absolutely love that this has come under um, the Seven of Swords because um, it kind of looks like he's in the dark but working by um, candlelight. We also have the moonlight. Um, so I do feel that this is kind of representing uh, light and dark, uh, polarity. Um, this is you really putting in the research um, and understanding that there can be no um light without the dark um pointing the way for you my friends so this weekend losing the fear um losing that feeling of unworthiness or feeling anything less than you should be um being more observant attentive um mindful uh, of your thoughts um of how you are communicating those thoughts out into the world and um, being more aware of how you feel um, from moment to moment uh, and course correcting as you go along. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's a absolute big message for the weekend, my friends. Well, thank you for all of your likes shares welcome you subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so my wonderful friends may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend. And until Monday, my friends, goodbye.